and hard work is the best medicine to kill the disease called failure it will make you a successful person well said by someone my name is anshika god i'm the corporate communication executive today we have a very special guest dr suresh gobatan who is a research scholar academic researcher lecturer reviewer for peer reviewed journals instructor and what not welcome dr suresh gobatan hello so we will start with the very first question tell us something about yourself and why you have chosen this field yeah uh... Hello, how are you, everybody? Uh, I'm Dr. Suresh Gowatati, uh, instructor in the Department of Physiology from University of Tennessee Health Science Center, Memphis. Uh, actually, just uh, I associated with uh, UTHSC in mid of 2017, and initially I worked as a postdoctoral fellow for three years. Then I was uh, uh, promoted as an instructor in research. so presently uh, my area of research mainly focuses on three different uh, aspects but interconnected aspects that are so mainly related to cardiovascular research and obesity so in particularly in cardiovascular research so we are uh, mainly uh, focusing on atherosclerosis and uh, retinosis in case of obesity so mainly we are focusing on diet induced obesity and steroid hepatitis uh you know actually this uh, atherosclerosis and uh, retinosis these are the two important uh, major cardiovascular diseases so worldwide actually so atherosclerosis is as you we know that is a simply stiffening of arteries and in case of retinosis this is a remodeling of uh, uh, arteries particularly after uh, uh, vascular inter- interventions such as angioplasty bypass surgery etc and uh, another one steroid hepatitis so it is well known that is uh, one of the important uh, disease so is causing major mortality worldwide share your experience as an instructor at the university of tennessee health science center memphis usa and what is your area of interest yeah so initially during my phd actually my uh, work is different that is uh, gynecological disorders particularly endometriosis and polycystic ovary disease but uh, when i was uh, joined in uh, uh, uthsc usa actually just uh, i changed slightly i changed my area of interest that is uh, from gynecological tumors to uh, uh, cardiovascular biology particularly and after promoting as instructor i started uh, my one of the my uh, i mean uh, major uh, interest that is uh, uh, obesity particularly steroid hepatitis so mostly we are focusing on uh, uh, signaling mechanisms actually in case of uh, uh, cardiovascular biology or steroid hepatitis so majorly in case of uh, in, uh, in in signaling also particularly we are focusing on uh, Uh, protein protein modifications that is uh, say for example i think uh, we are familiar about the protein phosphorylation protein methylation protein uh, protein palmitylation these are all actually post translational uh, modifications so that which plays major role in uh, pathophysiology of various diseases so at this moment actually we are majorly focusing on uh, uh, protein lipidation modifications in the development of cardiovascular diseases and steroid hepatitis all right sir all right what are the basic publishing standards to improve the quality of journals yeah so in case of uh, uh, publications actually so i have some experience uh, i already have some experience i worked as a reviewer in different uh, publishers say for example elsewhere uh, plos uh, and uh, tyler and francis hindavi and dow press etc etc still i am also working so particularly to improve the quality of uh, publications uh, the important thing is uh, the publishers or journals should have a proper a pool of potential reviewers the first one so because you know uh, reviewers uh, plays an important role so in uh, uh, reviewing the articles so it's uh, i mean uh, checking its uh, uh, novelty and scientific merit etc etc so uh, to 
uh, maintain proper standards for a particular journal, the first important thing is uh, they should have a pool of potential reviewers. And the uh, second aspect is uh, the journal should follow the minimum publication ethics. Say, for example, COPE. So they, uh, the journal, uh, journal sh should, it's mandatory actually, they should follow. And one more thing is uh, to maintain the standards uh, and uh, they should have actually, uh, they, main, they should maintain basic indexing. So if a journal have, uh, I mean, uh, a permanent indexing, definitely uh, others will be attracted by the journal. Okay. What are the major points that to check as a reviewer in a manuscript? Yeah, this is very important uh, point actually. So as a reviewer, as up till now, actually, I have reviewed uh, almost 55 articles, among them uh, 52 are uh, research, original research articles and three are uh, review articles. As a reviewer, whenever uh, so I get uh, an invitation, first I will check uh, three points. The first one is uh, uh, novelty and the scientific merit of the particular manuscript. And second one is, uh, so uh, it's importance for uh, readers. And third one is uh, plagiarism. So as a reviewer, so first I will take care of these three aspects. And then, so I will take care of the remaining minor, minor points, say for example, scientific merit uh, how, and uh, how the methodology are innovative and how they presented uh, results, how they discuss uh, they, I mean, uh, describe the discuss, I mean, uh, results like that. What are the common mistakes that an author made during the submission of an article? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so while submitting others, uh, they manuscript to the journals. Generally, I have ob uh, observed uh, uh, certain kinds of mistakes, routine mistakes. The mostly others they do not follow formatting guidelines. So actually, every journal, generally, they will put their uh, formatting gui guidelines in uh, their websites. But uh, I don't know, sometimes, uh, most of the times, so reviewers, they do not follow their guidelines. And uh, next one is, uh, so others, I don't know, they will not uh, put much attention to select the right journal for their manuscript. This is very important, actually. And next one is, uh, uh, in poor uh, cover letter and poor abstract. So mostly when they submit others, when they submit their articles to uh, man, I mean journals, uh, they put more effect effort on, uh, I mean, uh, writing of manuscript from introduction to discussion. But uh, cover letter also very important. The cover letter will tell the editor and uh, reviewers how the manuscript is important and how the manuscript is uh, perfect that particular journal and why that journal should publish that particular article. So others generally they put less effort on uh, preparation of cover letters and abstract also. So and uh, uh, misformatting also I, I have self, uh, observed several times misformatting of the I mean, uh, manuscript also. So these are the routinely observable mistakes while submitting uh, manuscript to journals. What should an author do to avoid rejection? Yeah. So this is also a big task for others, actually. So to avoid rejections from journals, the others should follow uh, certain points, particularly first, they have to select right journal. So because, say, for example, if we uh, submit uh, an article that describing some uh, signal aspects in cancer, cancer biology to gynecological journals, even though it has scientific merit, it cannot be publishable. So, uh, se I mean, uh, selection of a right journal is an important point. And uh, second one is, uh, so they have to submit uh, and they have to, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, elect actually proper keywords, because uh, keyword selection is also very important. This is, uh, it will give some kind of classification to that particular manuscript to, to uh, it means uh, 
from which part of which uh, i mean division it is belongs to which division and which i mean uh, which department and which uh, i mean say for example specialization so for that one uh, other should submit a proper keywords and uh, yes as i said earlier the uh, that is uh, cover letter is important they have to submit and they have to give clear reason why that uh, particular journal have to select that particular manuscript and uh, yes and one more important point is uh, uh, results generally uh, others generally they present their results but uh, instead of presenting they have to discuss also so that is very important thing and uh, methodology in methodology also mostly i have observed that uh, they will put very briefly say for example in case of uh, say for example uh, western blotting so they will put one or two sentences only but they have to elaborate what kind of antibodies they have used and what are the concentration they have used what are the dilution so this kind of uh, some important points they have to put in their methodology also and discussion yes definitely discussion is very important so others should consider all these points while uh, submitting their manuscript to journal to avoid uh, rejection all right as a reviewer what do you expect from a perfect manuscript yeah so this that is a, a million dollar question actually so perfect manuscript means uh, i think i don't know uh, uh, there is no perfect man manuscript in the world so but we have to try to make our manuscript as perfect so as we discussed earlier so to make perfect manuscript so the first important point is uh, yes so we have to uh, put proper scientific question in introduction yes so when readers uh, read our manuscript they have to get the immediate answer for why they have to read that particular manuscript and second one is uh, yes methodology so mostly most of the others actually they uh, won't consider methodology or mother metals mother section as uh, as important as uh, results or introduction but uh, so to make or to prepare a perfect uh, i mean uh, manuscript uh, others should put much effort on methodology also and second one is uh, uh, discussion yes so discussion mostly important uh, i mean uh, routine mistake i observed is uh, in discussion also others they will try to put results section again this is not correct actually so discussion means yes in discussion they have to discuss their results but uh, in the light of the existing literature so and uh, at the end of discussion so we have to put what are the uh, i mean uh, pitfalls and what are the future i mean directions for that particular manuscript so like this uh, so we have to consider and we have to try to put to each and every point related to these things to make a perfect uh, uh, manuscript how can a journal benefit the reviewer yeah so actually this uh, uh, journal and review rela relation actually this is a mutual relation so here particularly journal will benefit from the reviewer by getting their uh, manuscript uh, review by reviewers and at the same time reviewers also will get benefit from the journal say for example by reviewing articles uh, reviewers will improve their uh, uh, skills for uh, research and teaching as well as uh, writing skills that is ma first main important uh, benefit and uh, by reviewing these uh, articles uh, a reviewer can uh, know the present development in the, the particular field and in addition to that uh, so reviewers by reviewing these articles so so they can improve their network so they can get uh, Uh, touch with the different, uh, uh, I mean, uh, scientists or different researchers, so which are in uh, doing research in different fields. So, like this, uh, journal and reviewer their relations is just like uh, uh, mutualism. Yeah, they will get benefit from each other. 
Okay, sir. Now, uh, what message do you want to give to our stakeholders, like authors, professors, scientists, or editors? Yeah. So, based upon my experience, my uh, main suggestion to either others, others means like the scientists or uh, I mean researchers. So, yes. So we have to improve our uh, I mean uh, writing skills for a for manuscript preparations. So by including so whatever we discussed all these parameters, say for example by putting I mean proper uh, I mean cover letter and proper introduction and proper results and discussions and everything, including keywords also. And while preparing manuscripts, so the important my suggestion uh, to uh, others is they have to uh, discuss their discussion. I mean their results with the existing literature, up to date in literature. So in most of the I mean the manuscript I saw actually uh, others they try to uh, cite very old citations. Say for example, uh, 1950, 1980 like that. But after that, there is a big, I mean, uh, uh, development is there in each and every field. So, so while writing manuscripts, so others should consider so the up-to-date literature to describe their results or to describe their, I mean, findings. And uh, for editors, so yes, the my main suggestion is editors they have to pull a perfect and potential reviewers for their journals. Because this is very fundamental elements so to improve the quality of their uh, journals and to maintain their standards. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time, your support. Thank you for this wonderful interaction. So Thank you. Thank we would you. also like to have a second session with you about reviewer policy, guidelines, procedures, and best practices from the perspective of a reviewer so that we can also uh, implement those for our journals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, definitely. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so yeah. much. Have a nice day. Nice day to you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.